What is up guys? I'm back with another video, another review video um, of a new base that the company Glary just sent me. Um, you probably saw the last video I did on their four stringer uh, PJ base that they sent me, but this time they sent me a new one and this is a jazz base, five string. Uh, I know a lot of the people that watch me, that watch my videos, they're more inclined to a five stringer. They, they play more of a five stringer bass. So they reached out, they sent me another bass again and um, they asked me what bass would I like to review. I told them a lot of my followers are more inclined to five stringers, so I got a five stringer this time. And so I'm super excited to be reviewing this bass, uh, checking out how it sounds, all that good stuff, and honestly just to he hear your thoughts. So here's the bass. This is a Gla Glary, let's see what the model is. It's a Glary G Jazz electric five string bass. Um, and it comes with pretty much everything that you saw in the last video. It comes with the case, uh, strap, uh, some picks, a tuner. I'm not sure if this one came with the bass amp. Um, it might have actually, but not, um, not quite too sure. But, you know, it's your standard uh, jazz bass with the two single coil pickups. It's got volume knob for the neck pickup. It's got a volume knob for the bridge pickup. And it's got a tone uh, knob. And then it's got your input jack. It's on a rosewood fretboard with a maple neck. Um, and yeah, I mean, just right out of the box. It's a nice finish. I, I went with the sunburst finish. Um, so yeah, let's plug it in and see how it sounds. So I got my Merino custom cables. You already know, got to represent. Um, thank you, Gennaro, for always hooking me up with some incredible cables. So that's what I'm using today for my bass. Um, so yeah, let's hear how it sounds. It's right out of the box. Sounds great, right out of the box. Um, there's not much I'm doing with it. I went both knobs all the way up. So they're they're going, uh, both, volley, both pickups are wide open. And then I have the tone all the way up. So that's what that sounded like, which I thought sounded pretty good. Uh, keep in mind, you know, this is a $120 bass. Um, so the action isn't the greatest right out of the box. You will probably have to go do a setup, intonation, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a struggle right now <laughs> as I'm doing the review, trying to, you know, play um, with this action that's pretty high. Up. It's high. Um, but even like that, for being a $100 bass, man, you can't, you can't beat it. It sounds great. It sounds really good. It feels good. It's lightweight. It doesn't does it weigh much so like i said this is this is with all the volumes up so now we're just going to play with the bridge pickup um i'm sorry with the neck pickup and see what that sounds like with the knob all the way up with the tone knob all the way up here we go this is what that sounds like Doesn't sound too bad. It's not my favorite setting to use. Uh, also, if you noticed, when I turned this, uh, when I turned the bridge off, it kind of gave you that. I don't know if you can hear that buzz. Um, not sure why that is, but just so you're aware, that's what happens when you turn that down. Uh, let's try the neck neck pickup now. I'm gonna turn down the. I'm sorry. Let's try the bridge pickup. I'm gonna turn the neck uh, pickup down. That's what this. This is what this sounds like. Sounds a little bit better. Um, 
I do like the bridge pickup just because it cuts through for like funk stuff. So typically what I would do in this case, I would um, turn up my bridge pickup, but not all the way, maybe halfway. And uh, let's see what that sounds like. Um, I feel like that would give me a really punchy uh, cut through sound for like some funk. So here we go. So you kind of get the point. I didn't turn it all the way down on the uh, on the neck pickup. I actually, just literally just slight uh, like brought it down slightly, and that's what gave me that that um, that tone. Um, but in a live setting, I would probably just use both all the way up. So in a live setting, I would probably just use it wide open both. Uh, pickups all the way up and um, maybe mess with the tone knob uh, it's all preference as far as tone what you feel like is your sound what you like best what you enjoy um, that's probably what I would do I would probably turn them all the way up this is what that sounds like one more time <laughs> There you have it. This is the Glory G Jazz Bass, um, standard jazz bass. If you're looking into purchasing a beginner bass, um, and this is a great bass for the buck. You can't beat $120 with all the things you get in the box, right out of the box. Um, so if you're a beginner, if you are looking into wanting to learn bass, but you think, man, some of these bases are too expensive, I don't think I can afford it, or whatever the case may be, this is a great beginner bass to start learning. Um, if you're looking to switch from another instrument and wanting to you know, get started with bass, this is a great instrument for you to get started with. This is a five stringer, but they have different kinds of basses. They got four stringers, they got different finishes, they have an acoustic bass, all kinds of stuff on their website. So you just go to glarymusic.com. That's G-L-A-R-R-Y music.com and check out, check out their stuff. I will also have a link in the bio that you can go and check out. Um, but this is, man, it's a great base for the buck. You can't beat it. $120. Go pick one up today. You won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's some more gear review videos that are coming soon. Some new companies that are sending me some stuff out that they want me to review. Um, and so those will be out soon, hopefully. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with somebody that you think this might benefit. Um, and thank you so much for all the support, for all the, uh, the continued and constant support I get from you guys on my channel. Um, follow me on Instagram, uh, PachecoLS. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.